there, my name is Dakota Carper, and I'm going to be teaching a couple of C tunes this month. And I wanted to give you uh, just a short little video clip of a few things you can be doing to prepare for playing in the key of C, if that is a new key for you. Um, in old time music, we have a lot of tunes in D, a lot of tunes in G, a lot of tunes in A. And then it's sort of this uh, new unknown territory for a lot of people to go into any other keys, but C is usually the next one that you head for. So, uh, this month we're going to spend some time on C tunes. So to begin with, I just want to uh, say it's a good thing to start off practicing some C scales. So our C scale means that there will be no sharps and no flats. So. Uh, as far as finger position, if we're starting on that third finger on the G string, C, D, E, F natural, G, A, B, C natural, D, E, F, G, and then continuing up A, B, uh, somewhere up there would be our C. So that's our higher elevation of the scale, or if we're still starting on that third finger on the G string, uh, for C, C, B, A, G, that's our uh, lower extension of it. So playing through that scale now, we'll go all the way up to C, our one octave, starting from low C, uh, just the one octave for now. <laughs> extension starting from that C that's likely as high as you'll go but if you're playing the high C it's going to be another step up for your pinky or you can switch to third position and it's your third finger so that's our higher extension, and then our lower extension from that same C starting point that we began with. So that will familiarize yourself, uh, yourself a little bit with all of the finger patterns that you're going to be uh, using as far as um, placement in the key of C. So practice those scales some. And then there's a couple of uh, interesting double stops that are going to come in the key of C. Um, the major chords in the key of C are C, uh, let's see, C is our 1, G is our uh, 5, F natural would be our 4 chord. So for the most part, it's the C's that I want to talk about though. We have a fairly comfortable C here in the lower octave, third finger on the G string, first finger on the D string. In the higher octave, um, we have two options. One is to keep that third finger, sorry, first finger down on the D string, play the C natural on our A string. And then this is the really tricky one. This is one that we're going to be using in some of the songs this month. Um, we're going to place our second finger on the A string where it's playing a C natural, but that second finger is also going to be placed so that it's covering the G natural on the E string. So you have one finger covering two strings at the same point. So that would sound like this. And that's kind of an unusual one um, to, to play. You don't come across that so much in um, other keys, even though, uh, say, when we're playing in the key of G, a C is your four chord. It seems like you might come across it sometimes there, but um, for the most part, we use that particular uh, chording a lot in our C tune. So getting used to that placement is going to be really helpful in the next upcoming classes. So those are just a couple of things, our C chords and our C scales. Uh, play around with those some, and I'll have some C tunes coming out for you uh, pretty soon. Take care. Bye.